Welcome to Sarah Talk Solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, you tune in a bit of a different type of show. Our goal on our show is to shine on an American open wounds, showcase those urgently attempting to stop the bleeding and hopefully inspire some folks to under undercover opportunities to do the same. I'm Sarah B and I'm your host. You're listening to the one and only the blog saratalks.com. You can drop me an email the blog saratalks.com, drop me a text 818 818- 963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can actually send me a message on my IG account, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. You're listening to the one and only the best radio station, digital radio station in the nation. It's another new week. Let's go, let's go, and let's go. Welcome to Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. Guys, it has been an amazing, amazing week so far. This week, or I should say the past weekend, which has been Memorial Day, so it was like a three-day uh, long weekend, which the it, it's the it's the country's, you know, um, long weekend, like holiday. Like everyone was just like that extra day. I know, yes, it makes a big difference, but I don't know what it is with the Americans. It's just like, yes, Memorial Day, I understand it. I respect it, yes um as such but at the same time i'm just like okay you know i am excited um that we have an extra spare day but at the same time it's like you know it's a big 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 deal and i understand because you know some are serving some are not serving all that good stuff but it it is always nice to have an extra day and i get it um but at sometimes i'm just like you know what what's an extra day you know if you do what you love and love what you do you know it's all good you know in that respect you're listening to the one and only miss sarah b and i'm your host sit back and let me take you on an impactful journey as i introduce you to today's hero uh new brand of american hero welcome to sarah talk solutions <laughs> to Sarah Talk Solutions. My name is Sarah B and I'm your host. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or I should say 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can drop me a message on my DM on my Instagram account, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Guys, we had a great week. It's been Memorial Weekend. It's been wonderful. That extra day does give you that oomph of like, yes, that vitality and that extra rest, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. You can drop me an email. You can drop me a text. You know, tell me what you got up to. How did you spend your long weekend, Memorial Day weekend? Let's go and let's go. Yes. 
to Sara Talk Solutions and I am your host. Sit back and let me take you on an impactful journey as I introduce you to today's new brand of American Hero. You can drop drop me an email, the blog, saratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can find me on my social, which is Aussie underscore Sara underscore L-A. Guys, it has been a long, long weekend of Memorial Daying, so I would love to hear what you guys got up to on your Memorial Long Weekend Day because I know it's a big, big, big national holiday where I know everyone was up to doing, you know, out and about, went away, barbecuing, drinking, non-drinking, working. Tell me what you got up to. Drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. To Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only, the digital, best digital radio station in the nation, The Block 105 Radio, every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Yes, guys, it's been uh, Memorial Day, which was just the weekend just been which it is a big, big, big day of like Memorial, 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 Memorial Day. So what is Memorial Day? Memorial Day is a federal holiday in the United States for honoring and mourning the U.S. military personnel who died while serving in the U.S. armed forces. It is observed on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day is also considered unofficial, unofficial beginning of summer in the United States. So it's always the last Monday of in May. So that's good to know. Um, you know, so as you know, it was May 27th, uh, 2024, you know, event day or event length, which is one day observed for 156 years. Um, so that's a long time. So, you know, and that's great because, you know, there is so many people, even to this day, a lot of people are serving um, and, you know, it's, that's another world. Um, you know, I know if you serve, obviously being Memorial Day or being, you know, uh, a, an active serving, you know, member, yes, to this day, it's a lot. Um, and I'm glad that it's been observed for 156 years. So that's great. Um, it's a US federal holiday frequency, which is annually observance decoration of the military graves with american flags and the significance is honors of the u.s military personnel who died in service so yes that's very important you know as to say thank you thank you for you know obviously you know serving you know this amazing huge 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 nation of the united states but yeah it is you know you know, you know, obviously Memorial Day, which is, you know, observance, you know, Memorial Day par uh, parades. It's all depending on what it is and what you're up to. So, 
you know, Memorial Day weekend. So it's just observance. This is Arlington National Cemetery. So it's just all an observant of Memorial Day. <laughs> As we gather Arlington National Cemetery on this Memorial Day, we are reminded of the profound sacrifice of those men and women who have laid down their lives in service to our nation. Their unwavering dedication, bravery, and selflessness serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of our great country. Let us uphold the timeless principles they defended and ensure the preservation of our cherished freedom. Here in Arlington, we are united by our commitment to our sacred mission as we honor and remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. As we stand amidst these enduring monuments of stone, let us never forget the profound significance each gravesite holds, a testament to a cherished life, a beloved son or daughter, a devoted spouse, a parent, a sibling, a friend or a neighbor. We honor not only them, but also their family members. For Ghost Star families, every day is Memorial Day. Let us commemorate this special occasion by remembering our nation's rich and diverse history, exemplified by the heroes who rest here at Arlington. From the bravery of the Revolutionary War to the valor of our modern day defenders, we celebrate the remarkable spirit of a great nation, forever indebted to the service and sacrifice of those who have answered the call of duty. Together, as a grateful nation, let us stand united in remembrance and reverence on this solemn Memorial Day. Ladies and gentlemen, 160 years ago, the first American soldier was laid to rest on these hallowed grounds. There were no big ceremonies, no big speeches, no family members to mourn their loss just a quiet grief of the rolling green hills surrounding them. Today, we join that grief with gratitude. Gratitude to our fallen heroes, gratitude to the families left behind, and gratitude to the brave souls who continue to uphold the flame of liberty all across our country and around the world. So, a beautiful, beautiful speech you know from the president um himself um just you know in those of remembrance of that day of that special special day i know that it is just important that we just you know take time to reflect and to be thankful to be grateful um as such because this is just an amazing 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 you know it's a it's just like it speaks words you know what i mean like in a sense of what is memorial day to you in a sense of you know just putting that time and that effort and just be grateful and thankful in that in a special time um you know just take a moment to really just like yeah like in a sense of what did you do or just be thankful for especially till now there is active people or active men or active women you know in line of duty to this to this current day so i am thanking you i am thanking from the bottom of my heart i'm super grateful super thankful that you know it just gives you time just to sit back and just be thankful for what they've done in our time, in our, you know, space. It's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. It is just beautiful. Them, all of them, that we stand here today, 
We will never forget that. We will never, ever, ever stop working to make a more perfect union, which they lived and which they died for. That was their promise. That's our promise. Our promise today to them. That's our promise always. God bless the fallen. May God bless their families. And may God protect our troops. just my heart goes out to them really it just really goes out to them in a sense of what it's like to be an active member of the military or any of the military personnel who actually died while serving uh, especially this huge big country you've united states of america um yeah like what is the true meaning you know what is the true meaning of memorial day on this memorial day it is fitting and proper that we honor the americans who made supreme sacrifice for this nation and express our humble gratitude to them and their survivors. It is also fitting and proper that we confirm what it is they sacrificed for and why their sacrifices were and still are worth it. Yes, this, the amount of sacrifices, you cannot put a dollar value. You cannot, you know, thank them enough. You cannot you know, appreciate their hard work and hard effort as what they did and what and then what they're still doing. Um, you know, it is the good old Memorial Day weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. By all means, I love to hear from you. Send me an email theblocksaratalks.com drop me a text 818-963-9163 you're listening to the one and only the block 105 radio every friday 8 p.m pacific standard time also you can jump on my socials which is aussie underscore sarah underscore la thank you guys thank you and thank you you listen, say your name, that's my bed Love me then, head up to bring them Love you then, say that you will be there
to Sarah Talk Solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, you tune into a bit of a different type of show. On this goal, on our goal, on this show is to shine a light on American open wounds, showcase those urgently attempting to stop those bleeding, and hopefully inspire some folks and undercover children. Other undercover other undercover opportunities to do the same. You can drop me an email, the blog, saratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also, uh, you know, jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. You're listening to Sarah Talk Solutions. I'm Sarah B and I'm your host. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you can also uh, jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. discussing Memorial Day uh, of 2024. It's a big, big, big day of the nation. Um, thank you in gratitude of just everything of the people that have served for us and what they sacrifice for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you. I'm so happy and pleased that um, that the Memorial Day of 2024 has come to a closing as such uh and thank you like in a sense of yeah it's just amazing that's all i can say you know it is just amazing i'm taking time to thank him taking time to reflect you know what i mean it's just an important day of the u.s calendar and yeah just observance and just sacrifice of what they've done and what they do just goes a long way thank you thank you and more thank you Welcome to Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Reddit every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can drop, uh, you can jump on my socials, which is my IG, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. Guys, we're talking about the good old Memorial Day long weekend which was an amazing long weekend. It is always nice to have that extra day. Um, as such, I, I know it's a big, you know, national holiday for the nation of the United States of America. Uh, so clearly, you know, it is just one day of observance, one day of just, you know, thanking them, one day just to be grateful, one day just to thank him, you know, all, all that good stuff. You're welcome to Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 
9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can uh, jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Actually, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can drop up on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Guys, I am grateful and thankful for the Memorial Long Weekend. It has been an amazing long weekend, Um, you know, just giving time, thanks and reflection and just to be grateful for what they fought, what they did for us to amazing, to amazing, to have this amazing, you know, freedom that you can't put a price on that. You cannot put a price on freedom. Guys, by all means, I would love for you to drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818. 963-9163. 963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can drop jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Thank you to the Memorial Weekend that we had this weekend. Thank you and thank you and thank you. <laughs> listening to Sarah Talk Solutions, you can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Guys, we are talking about what is the best barbecue places. When I think of barbecues, I think of the good old Barbecue with coal. If you want to get a little bit fancy, you can get, you know, those um, gas pumps. Um, or what do they call them out here? Pepper time. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, those big gas pumps and you just hook it up to the barbecue, which is absolutely, absolutely just amazing. Um, you can never go wrong with the good old barbecue. Like just people coming around together, just talking just being eventful, just being, you know, nice, you know, all that good stuff. You know, it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, In a sense of what is the best barbecue places in LA? Like, as I said, I just think of outdoors. Um, You know, that's how I think of it. When I think of barbecues, it's all outdoors. Um, You know, like I'm liking like how it says um, <laughs> what's the, you know, the best barbecues, you know, barbecue styles. Like in a sense of, you know, LA's great barbecues, you know, uh, 
I don't know. I, when I think of LA, I don't think of barbecues. I don't know. I just, for, that's just me, you know. Um, you know, it's just saying, you know, what's the best way to grill in LA or barbecues in Los Angeles or the seals smoke barbecues. You know, I just think of the good old barbecue outside. You know what I mean? Outside with people being silly, you know, kids running around, playing games. That's what I think of barbecues, um, you know, in that sense, because, you know, it's an outdoor event. It's a thing. You know, I just love the good old outdoor events, you know, nothing beats out uh, outdoor events. You know, you're out in the wind, you're out there, you know, outdoors, you know, it's just beautiful just to kind of be around it. Um, you know, just be in nature, just talking to people, people talking to you, having a drink, just talking, you know, um, you know, it, you know, just talking, just, it's just, it's more, for me, it's more the social aspect. Uh, you know, the best barbecues in LA, you know, in a sense of outdoors. That's how I think of it. I just think of great outdoors. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's just, it's just an outdoor event. You know what I mean? It's just, don't worry about the restaurants. Don't worry about, you know, going to the burger places. You've got the good old barbecues. You just fire up the barbecue and you're good to go. You know, it's just, amazing amazing and amazing i would love to hear what's your favorite barbecue place or spot where you go to by all means i love to hear from you drop me an email drop me a text love to hear what your thoughts are to the block Sarah Talks uh, solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to one and only The Block 105 Ready every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. You're listening to the one and only, the best digital radio station in the nation. 24 seven, you know, you can listen to anyone of us our podcasters, our DJs, or we all have a story to tell. By all means, you're listening to the best number one digital radio station in the nation. It's the Block 105 Radio. I'm on every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can drop and send me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA.
to Sarah Talk Solutions, you can drop me a email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. <laughs> to Sarah Talk Solutions, you can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block Radio, 105 Radio, every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. We're talking about good old barbecues. Love barbecues. What's so good about barbecues? I love it for the social aspect. The sun is out, the grilling season is here. This is how we do it in LA. Well, for me, how we do it back home, which is Australia, oh boy. It's just all fun, 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 and more fun. You know, when the sun comes out, the afternoon is free, the air and and light of LA urges us to go outside, grill food, food over the fire in my home would be the take shape as the classic, uh, you know, different styles. Uh, when we finally got a sunny week, um, I immediately decide, which it is, I would love to light up the, the barbecue itself. You know, it depending on what you are, where you're from, what type of food you like, you know, what's your way of actually, um, you know, having a barbecue, you know? It's just like, I'm just think of just, you know, sometimes a good old simple barbecue where it's the coal, um, which is just amazing. Um, you know, from three parks in LA grilling that spans the globe um, on any summer weekend in LA, parks are filled with amateur Grill masters and chefs cooking up traditional and non-traditional global feast. Yeah, you know, it, 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 each their own. Um, you know, you know, how do you grill a veggie burger that celebrates a real vegetable? You know, veggie burgers made a comeback. Um, veggie burgers every which way. The highlights how real a vegetable can be ex- um, exciting for summer grilling. How do you grill? Um, you know, you tell me, you drop me an email or drop me a text. I love to hear how do you, what's your style? How do you grill? Like, um, 
you know, what's the best way to grill? What's the best way to have a barbecue? Uh, drop me an email. I'd love to, you know, hear what your thoughts are. The block saratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. To Sarah Talk Solutions, you can drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. You know, what country is the best barbecue? Oh my gosh. Woo! That's a good question because me, hey. I'm just going to say Australia because we just know how to do it. We just hands down that, you know, that silly line that Mr. Paul Hogan, the actor, you know, put a shrimp on the barbecue or put a shrimp on the barbie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even say shrimp. We say prawns. So obviously it has stuck my whole life. And I have constantly correcting these Americans that we say prawns, not shrimp. But hey, what would I know? So, who has the best barbecue in the world? Though its places as the world top consumer of beef fluctuates each year, many would claim that Argentina woo, will forever be the grand dam of barbecue meats, like South Africa, the Bari culture, Argentina, uh, affinity for the, uh, for the grill, for more entrenched than the States. So, you know, who has the best barbecue in the world? I love to know. Now, I don't know where they get these um, from, but hey, it's always good to know, you know, uh, where, where to eat the best barbecue in the world, you know, according to food experts, according. So number one is Central Barbecue Memphis, United States of America. Number two, Killen's Barbecue, Pearland, United States of America. Number three, Joe's Kansas City Barbecue, Kansas City. Number four, Slaps Barbecue. Number five, Bolga Smokehouse. Number six, Ropes Ribs. Number seven, 18th and Vine. Number eight, The Smoke Barbecue. So, you know, according to the food experts, according. So I'd love for you to drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You, you're listening to the one and only the best digital radio station in the nation, The Block 105 Radio, every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. We're talking about good old, good old barbecues. Who does the best barbecues in the world.
you're listening to Sarah Talk Solutions, ladies and gentlemen, you tune into a bit of a different type of show. You can drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. Listening to Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can drop me an email, drop me a text, uh, jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L A. <laughs> Sarah Talk Solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, you tune in a bit of a different type of show. You can uh, drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio. Every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You're listening to the one and only Miss Sarah B. You can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. to Sarah B and I'm your host. Drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Ready every Friday 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also you can jump on my socials, my IG, IG account which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. Guys we're talking about barbecues. What's your favorite barbecue place? What's your hot spot? Do you like outdoors? Do you like the restaurant? Me? Outdoors for me. Uh, you know, what are the three types of barbecue? While the wide variety of barbecue styles makes it difficult to break them down into regions, there are four styles commonly referenced North Carolina, Memphis, which rely on pork, represents all the styles, and Kansas City and Texas, which they use beef as well as pork, represent later of the, of the ele elevation. I should say evolution. Oh boy. It's me even making my mouth water. Even just talking about barbecues, 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 barbecues. But I love barbecues. Who loves, you know, um, you know, the good old yummy, yummy, yummy barbecues. You know, simple, simple, just simple. But hey, the flavor that you get from the barbecue, you can never go wrong. That's why I love the barbecue so much. So much, so much, so much. You're listening to Sarah Talk Solutions. to Sarah Talk Solutions. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 
9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. We're talking about barbecues, the good old yummy, 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 yummy barbecues. Barbecues or barbecues is a term used for significant regional and national variations to describe various cooking methods that employ live fire and smoke to cook the food which is yummy, yummy, and yummy. I will love to hear what your version or how you barbecue. You can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio. Every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can drop me a message on my IG, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L-A. To Sarah Talk Solutions, you can drop me an email, theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text, 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. Guys, I have been having this hideous, hideous ear infection. I've had to go to urgent care, which it is horrible for some reason i had this annoying drumming of my ear i cannot explain just oh as i said it's just horrible horrible and just horrible you know i don't know you know where it came from it's an infection of the airfield space behind the eardrum and known in the middle ear. So it's been horrible. Um, you know, it's a virus usually caused by Otis media. The infection usually starts with a cold, flu, or an allergy that causes stiffness and swelling inside the nose, throat, and ears. Some people are more likely to have ear infections, which is myself. So the ear pain, you know, draining of the fluid from the ear, trouble hearing uh, some symptoms, you know, even children might have a fever, not, not wanting to eat and be fussy. Most ear infections go away on their own within a week or two. Some might need antibiotics, which, yes, that's me. Um, you know, it's just, it's been horrible. Like, you know, how to clear an ear infection. Out of ear infection is antibiotics. Ear drops treat a bacterial infection. Um, steroid um, eardrops to bring down the swelling, antifungal eardrops uh, to treat fungal infection, antibiotics tablets if your bacteria infection is severe. I wanted to get some eardrops when I went to the urgent care and he just gave me a nasal spray and then he just put me an ibuprofen, which I'm like, really? You know, he's saying that my ear was clean, which is thankful and grateful. But at the same time, I was hoping to get some type of eardrops, you know what I mean, in such just to kind of like, you know, you know, for it to just to kind of stop that annoying ringing, ringing, ringing on its own. It was just horrible. Um, an ear infection will improve within the first couple of days and clear up with one or two weeks without any treatment. Oh boy, I couldn't even, it was like four days of hell. Uh, recommended to wait and see no no you don't wait and see if you have a, a ringing ear um, you need to go and see someone immediately um, you know it's just 
Oof. Yeah, I, I'm, as I said, I'm hopefully that it's getting better. You know, how do you fix an inner ear infection? Sometimes your healthcare provider may prescribe antiviral or antibiotics to treat your inner ear infection. Most often, however, they focus on treating your symptoms rather than the infection itself. Yeah, for example, steroids are often prescribed to ease um, inflammation. Oh my gosh, um, you know, I should have just done it myself, but I was like, you know, can you treat infected ear at home? Warm compress as well over the counter pain medication and ear drops can help alleviate ear pain. Um, getting plenty of rest, stay hydrated can help healing the process too. If symptoms don't go away within two to three days, um, get worse before that, then you need to contact your health health provider. Well, as I said, he just gave me a nasal spray and uh, nasal nasal spray and um, ibuprofen. So I'm hoping the worst is over. Oh boy, I wouldn't want to wish it on anyone. It has been horrible, horrible, horrible. Where you just need, I cannot emphasize it enough that you need to look after yourself look after yourself health is everything to you and to yourself it's important that you look after you one-on-one health remedies look after yourself You're listening to the one and only The Block Sarah Talks. Uh, sorry, you, you're listening to the one and only Sarah Talks Solutions. You can drop me an email at theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only The Block 105 Radio. Every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, you can jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore LA. Guys, I've had this hideous, hideous ear infection. Please, please, please look after yourself. Um, I wanted to get eardrops, but obviously the doctor didn't want to give me eardrops. Um, you know, oh, I just wanted to kind of like, you know, sometimes they, you know, the eardrops can actually irritate your ear. But I was just like, um, you know, rubbing of alcohol and white vinegar. Oh. This can be done twice daily for active infections and every other day for maintenance. So that's, oh boy, I read this now. You know what I mean? So rubbing alcohol and white vinegar, which I both have both of these. Oh boy, oh boy and oh boy. Guys, please look after yourself. Health is important to yourself. You can't function without good health. Please drop me an email. I love to hear what your little remedies. Uh, best email theblocksaratalks.com. Drop me a text 818-963-9163. You're listening to the one and only the block 105 radio every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also jump on my socials, which is Aussie underscore Sarah underscore L A. Stay safe, stay plug, stay, you know, focus, stay positive. Look after yourself. Please look after yourself. A simple walk around the block goes a long way. Do that because it just refreshes everything and yourself around you. By all means, stay safe, stay plug, and stay current. You're listening to Sarah Talks Solutions. The one and only Sarah Talks Solutions. Let's go and let's go, let's go. Have an awesome, magical, magical week, guys. Till next, stay tuned and stay plugged and stay safe. Hey guys, it's Miriam Love here and I want to share something very special with you. Check out my new release, All In, the Spanish remixes, out now on Electric House Records. And always remember, be love, share love, all love. Available now wherever you listen to music.
For those of you who dream of a world where music and podcasts live together in perfect harmony, now, for the first time, Electricast gives you a magical compilation, Pod Till You Drop, Volume 1, where we give you the best in tunes and the best in podcasts. Feast your ears and hear the culture. Available now wherever you listen to music.